Welcome to this review of Singapore Airlines Airbus A350-900 flying from Bangkok, Thailand to Singapore. In this video, we'll look at the usual seat tour, food, the lavatory, but also I'll show you some beautiful views, introduce you to some amazing crew members and talk about excellent service. Here's me checking out of my new favourite hotel in Bangkok, it's called the JW Marriott, next to Nano BTS station. I feel so sad and almost guilty leaving. If you've seen my review on it, you'll understand why. I'm now heading to the airport to catch my flight from Bangkok to Singapore on the new Airbus A350-900. So I hope you can hear this. Um, I just checked in at Suwani Boom Airport in Bangkok. Uh, the Singapore Airlines lounge is closed, uh, which is a bit disappointing, but I do have access to the Thai Airways lounge. So I will show you the Thai Airways lounge today. Thai Airways being the national carrier for Thailand makes this lounge the flagship lounge. The lounge is beautifully decorated and is really long. You can actually pace up and down and have a good walk. There's so many nooks and crannies to sit down and enjoy a cup of tea or a drink. They've got plenty of food which we'll cover later, plenty of different seating options, some quiet spaces and what I'm most impressed with is all the seats have power charging facilities whether it's a power plug or a USB socket. It's about 3pm in the afternoon and both the airport and lounge are pretty empty. This is a surprise given that other lounges like Singapore Airlines are closed. There's about five other people here. It may not be so nice when the lounge is fully packed, but then what lounge is? Anyway, this is the seating near the bar area. I decided to head to the bar and have a look at what drinks they have. I asked the bartender if they have champagne. He said no they don't have champagne, but they have this Italian sparkling white wine. It's not the same thing, of course, but I thought I'd try a glass. But yes, it's no comparison to champagne. As usual, after the glass of wine, I had a glass of cognac. In this case, it was Hennessy VSOP with some nuts. I will now show you the food and drink available, starting with the drinks. You've got a drinks cocktails menu, as usual. You've got your soft drinks, tea, coffee making facilities. In terms of food, it's a buffet, it's self-service. They've got all sorts of options. There's not too much vegetarian, but you can have some fruit and salad, and you even have ice cream. Well, it's about that time now. It's time for me to board my flight, and I'm heading to the gate, which is E4. On the way to the gate, I see this arrivals area. And here she is, the plane will be flying today, an Airbus A350-900. I received a warm welcome and was shown to my seat by this gentleman. I was then later introduced to Christina who looked after this section. She's super nice and super friendly. Another nice surprise was that most airlines at the moment aren't offering pre-departure beverages, but in this case they offered me a glass of champagne which I happily accepted. We are now about to take off, so need to close the little cupboard door and watch the safety demonstration. Welcome aboard Singapore Airlines and keep your shoes on. I didn't show you the whole video because it's too long. And yes, I kept my shoes on as usual until we are sky high. But I wanted to show you this video as I think it's one of the best there is. It's so innovative and interesting. Securely fasten during taxi, takeoff, and landing. Speaking of which, we are now about to take off. Few moments later. 
as we take off into the cloudy Bangkok sky. You can just see a glimpse in the distance there, the sun trying to push through the clouds. As we get above the clouds, you'll see some gorgeous views of the sun and clouds. It's breathtaking. There's a quick glimpse of my cabin and the cabin behind which looks a bit like economy. I sat at 15k which is on the right hand side of the plane. As you approach the seat you'll see a little cupboard that stores your water bottle, headphones, care kit and amenity kit and next to that you had your space to hang your headphones. The care kit is basically a face mask, hand sanitizing gel and a disinfectant wipe. Apologies as I forgot to film this when I was on the plane and so I'm taking this footage from my flight on the A380 but the contents are the same. The amenity kit has three things, lip balm, facial mist and a hand wash. Also on your seat you'll find a plumpy pillow and a blanket. Opposite you've got your in-flight entertainment screen and place to put your feet when you're in bed mode. The seat itself is quite private and on the right near the window there's a little extra storage space where you can put maybe like a bag but just be careful that wires and strings don't get caught in the grill. Above my left armrest are the seat controls and handheld controller for the IFE. On the right is a light with different settings along with a nice padding area for you to rest your head. As you can see you can turn one or two lights on as you wish. Opposite is the IFE and just under that is where you pull out your tray table. The IFE is a touch screen, decent size, very easy to use, it's got a very easy search function. If you have a Chris Flyer account you can log in and create a playlist. The flight attendant also believes that you might also have access to additional content although she couldn't provide any more details. Anyway, I saved the Big Bang Theory as usual and SpongeBob SquarePants to my profile and hopefully this should be available my next flight. When I fly it, I will let you know. You can also slightly tilt the monitor for when you're in bed mode. As usual, I pre-ordered a vegan meal, but just to show you guys the menu, I've included it just after she puts the food down. Enjoy your meal! The meal wasn't anything special, it was mainly vegetable rice, some fruit and some salad. But what was special were the views outside the window. I've got this gorgeous sun setting. As it was dark outside, the cabin lights were dimmed, but with only minutes before descent to begin, I decided to ask the crew just to make up the bed for you to see. The thing I like most about this particular product, which is the A350-900, the place where you put your feet is straight in front of you, so it doesn't mean you have to sleep at an angle like on the 777 or A380. Granted, the space where you put your feet does look a little small, and I couldn't really test it as the flight was very short, but I hope to do it next time. Now onto the washroom. The washroom itself was just a normal washroom. It wasn't huge, wasn't too small. It was clean and had very basic amenities. I always look for a toothbrush and I couldn't find one on this occasion, but I'm sure you would get it on request. As mentioned, our descent was beginning. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All of the crew were absolutely amazing, but in particular Christina. She came over and spoke to me for a little while, and I think it was such an amazing flight. Next, I'll be flying on the 777 to London. I've flown the 380 and the 350-900 and so far I think the 350-900 is much better. 
but I've also done a full review on the 380. Check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this and about luxury and travel, please consider subscribing. Thank you.